Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to create a GPO, to enable the built-in administrator account on the client computers. For example, if you have a computer joined to the domain, and you want to enable the built-in administrator account. And if you open computer management, from the control panel, to find out whether the administrator account is disabled or enabled. From the computer management window, click on local users and groups, on the left side. You will find that the administrator account is disabled. To enable administrator account, uncheck account is disabled option, and when you click apply, you will see a message access is denied, because this can only be done through the domain server. You cannot enable the built-in administrator account. And to enable administrator account, I will go to the server to create a policy that enables the administrator account. And the first thing you have to do, it is to create a text file, and give it an appropriate name. After that, type the command that appears on the screen. This command will activate the built-in administrator account, but after a few steps, I will do it now. After that, save the file, and then click save as. And save the file on your desktop with the name you want, but write dot bat at the end of the name to save the file as an Apache file. After that, close the text file, and before the next step, right click on the patch that was just created and click copy because i will paste this file somewhere else then open the dashboard manager server then click on the tools menu at the top of the page and from the menu click on group policy management go to the sidebar expand it and select the domain you will work on then right click on default domain policy and from the menu click edit this will open the group policy management editor window from the left sidebar, go to the path that appears in front of you on the screen. After opening the path, go to the other side and click on Startup, because I will put the patch at startup of the client computer. Then click on the Add button, from the Startup Properties window, and click on the Browse button. A specific path will open for you. Now paste the patch file into this path. Select the patch file you just pasted, and click the Open button. Click on the OK button, then apply an OK. This step has been completed, and the group policy will apply this to the client computer. You can close all open windows now. I will open again to the client computer, to try applying the new policy to it. Open the command prompt window on the client computer, to write a command to update the group policy, or you can restart the computer if the new policy does not enable the built-in administrator account. Type the command that appears in front of you on the screen in the command prompt window, and wait until the group policy is updated successfully. After that, open computer management again. To ensure that the policy is applied to the built-in administrator account, you can access computer management in more than one way. And click on local users and groups from the left bar, and you will find that the built-in administrator account has been activated and enabled. You will find that the account is disabled option has been removed, meaning that the built-in administrator account has been successfully enabled on the client's computer. I will leave you in the video description a link to a video of how to change the password for the built-in administrator account. I hope the video is it is useful for you. Thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.